Gaming Division. Hey there, welcome to Gaming Division. I am Camera, and today we have some more Super Dungeon Explorer unboxing. I've managed to get my hands on Summon Wave 2. Whether or not it's officially out, that's a whole other thing. So this will be Wave 2 Alpha. This will be the first batch of things that I've got. Honestly, I want to go take it and play with it, so I'm going to open it up now. Uh, let's get started. Um, the only special character independently that I have in these cute little boxes is the Tabby Brook Mage. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Alright, come with this cute little thing. It's a cat lady mage! Meow, 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 I cast magic missile. Musil. Magic Musil. But great detail as usual. Um, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to move these back. And I'm going to start loading the models there. So her abilities are Puddle Jump, Wave 1, Push 1, which I don't know. Refreshing Rain, Wave 2, Heal 2, which is fantastic. We needed another healer uh, in this this era, and this is definitely it. Um, and then her she has Attack Potions, Volcanic Spring... Poison, Lance, 8, Fire? What the fuck? And Arc Spring. So you have your choice of Poison, uh, Magic, Lance, 8, and then Cold or Fire. That, she's pretty nasty. And she can hold two potions. Oh, God. Somebody's using that against me today. That's that's going to happen. Um, I'll go ahead and put that there. I'm pretty sure the camera's picking it up. Yeah. <laughs> it's a really wide lens. Hopefully everything fits. Um... Let's go get this out of the way as much as I wanted to leave it for last. And I don't even want to open it. Like, I just want the stuff to come out. I mean, I need to figure it out. Um, I slit open the bottom where it was stapled because the glue was weaker um, or more worn, however you want to say it. And I'm going to try to slip out the, uh, the boards. There we go. We got past that corner. Packaging. So I got the boards out and dim rattling bones. I'm gonna go ahead and dump them out so I can put the plastic back in here. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't know if I said it. This is the uh, Von Drack Manor boards. Uh, they came out with two expansions for. Uh, the boards in this way, or yeah, this way. And um, so this is one of them. I don't have the other one yet, which I actually want more. Um, and I don't know if they changed these to creeps or not. Hopefully not, because no, they're insignificant mobs now, so that is an update. Oh, and there's tile effects. So let's go ahead and open this up after all. I hadn't planned on it. I don't want to... Everything's sealed inside one another. So you get two rattling bone cards. Uh, difficult terrain, chasm, structure, goddess, sentinel, champion, brambles. Okay, so they're treating this as if you didn't buy Forgotten King at all. You just bought this, and you're applying it to um, the first edition set, which I guess you could do. But I like that. I like that it included all these. Um, so we'll put the cards over here. We'll just make a stack of cards. Um, and then we'll have, real quick, if you haven't seen these before, that's pretty much what they look like. They're just angry little skeletons. Um, I like that they did, there, it, for those who are unaware, there was a uh, misprint in the first Vandrock Manor uh, edition. So now when you see it and it's got the open face like these boxes do, uh, that is the corrected version. The old one without the face uh, actually has the wrong number of models. Uh, compared to what is listed on the box, it's, by the company's words, the right number of models, but the number of models that was expected in the box, or that was printed on the box, was incorrect. Well, we'll just have to believe them there. If you look at the math, it doesn't add up, but I didn't create the game. Let's get these open and look at these boards real quick. For the record, it is always better to have like a, a safe knife or scissors on hand for this sort of thing and not use your teeth 
Because then you end up with dental issues, and it's expensive. Um, so lots of difficult terrain on that one. A house and a secret passage. Uh, looks like there's like a lost ark on the other side is, is what's happening there. Um, so there's that one. And then here's what I was calling a lost ark. Like, it looks like the jungle. Um... They got really interesting with these, but I really like the Von Drek Manor style thing. Oh, they, they put us in the middle of an action scene on this one. You see here, like, there's glass actually breaking in uh, to the bedroom. And then there's actually uh, a coffin room there, which I think is interesting. Um, and then, like, that looks like a witch's house. It looks like you're supposed to go through the forest to get to the manor. Um, oh, a banquet hall. I was, really, I was really hoping there was something like that. Um, and those statues give you added uh, attack bonuses. Interesting. Um, that looks almost like an addict. Addict? Attic. Yep. Okay. And then... Almost a dungeon tile. They're really kind of varied. The jungle seems more consistent, but so happy to have this. Um, these tiles will help me out immensely. The still tile zombies is the thing I'm most excited about, so let's go Mistborn Coast first. Ah, oh. ah, nom, 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 nom. It does actually have that new plastic smell. I'm not doing that just for effect. Um, granted, you probably shouldn't breathe that in too deeply, but... Um, so, yeah, so this is what I was talking about. It's got the window there um, that you can, like, see a couple of characters through, I think. And the newer one, it may actually be Vandella. Is it? I can't remember. Um, ooh, yeah. So we've got some cards... We got a troll. We got stupid dogs. Dog mom. Okay, so we're gonna put the, this back in here. Ha ah, ha! These baggies are weird. And this is if you if you've ever bought models before, it seems horrific. But the plastic that they're made out of is actually designed to be a little bit durable and bendy, um, so I really like it. I'm hoping that that sort of thing is cheaper for them as a company because it allows them to give us slightly better pricing um, and just overcharges for the details on the models, which is pretty phenomenal. Um, I'm going to start with a couple of things that you've probably seen before. Uh, there's these little... Where's the other one? Is it the same one? I guess there's three of them. Yeah, so there's these three little goofy uh, flame things. So there's a couple of each of those in here. And then there is the horrible dog model, which there are only two of. And if you rec you'll recognize all these from the Caves of the Rocks for expansion. They just reuse the model, which is fine. Um, but they repurpose them, and so once they're painted, you can't tell unless you designate them. Uh, which... Is whatever, but these are green, the other ones are red right now. Well, mine are actually white because I primed them. But um, let's work up to the boss. So here are two different spawn points. So you'll recognize the Lava World uh, model from Caves of Rocks as well. It's got a new name, I'm sure. And then they have this little uh, troll grave one. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but there's lots of little engravings on the on the grave. Um, and let's see. So there are two different or three different troll models. Let's let's try it like this. Ugh. So there's those. Hopefully that's close enough. Um, you can see they're they're trolls with axes and swords and shields. Uh, very interesting looking models. If they're anything like trolls, they'll all have tough. Um, and then here's what I would consider probably the three-point model, the, the the troll leader, or chieftain, or, or however you want to say it. Um, and then, of course, the mini-boss, Salt, 
Salt was a huge deal with all with the community for whatever reason. Uh, he's kind of a badass, but he's like he. It's more that he's going to put a bunch of effects on you if I remember correctly. Um, and so the whole idea with the salt and the crew is that they're part of the Fey magic. Um, and then theoretically, if you if you follow Fey lore, trolls are technically part of the Fey as well. Uh, but they're a very different sort of fae than you think of, because normally you think pixies and fairies, uh, or elf, if you will. So, Mr. One Shaman, um, uh, he has an offensive magic, uh, two action, outcast pyre, range eight magic, burst one, uh, fire. Uh, so it's, it's a better version of the, the Deepwood Druid spell. Um, and he has three blue will, which is not good, but he's got tough built in as well. Um, and then he's got some effect stuff, Ancestral Will, um, range 6, push 2, uh, 2 action, Spirit Burn, um, range 6, target hero gains Backlash and Fire. So he's like a better Deepwood Druid, or one that doesn't shift, rather. Uh, Troll Heart, you can give Regenerate to somebody. Um, and I don't know, I don't remember how long that lasts. Oh, no, it's a one-time thing. Roll one blue for every wound token on the model using Regenerate. Uh, remove one token for every star rolled. So, yay. Um, salt! So he can fly, first off. He's immune to status effects. Uh, summer, melee, wave two, fire. And he's winter. Uh, I don't this seems to be a common theme at this point. Melee, wave two, uh, cold. Um, two effects, circle, salt, range six, strength versus will, immobile. Uh, he's at six hit points, so he is a uh, a tough little monkey. Not that he's a monkey. He looks like salt. Uh, travel stone. So that gives you the Mistborn chieftain, two spirit walkers, two ghost fire walkers, and then of course the chieftains, the 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 oh, it's two points. They're all two points. Interesting. Um, and they all tough built in. And the Spirit Walker has the guy with the axe, his stealth and surefoot. Um, the the Ghostfire Warrior has a two action. He only has two actions. Uh, Lance four attack. The Spirit Walker. Oh, the sword means attacks with strength, not melee. Sorry. Um, the Chieftain has a two action, three range strength attack. Uh, plus one strength, and I can't remember what that symbol is. Is it death? Bane. A model something Bane discards. Highest result rolled any time it makes defense roll. So, anti-defense. Uh, spirit, uh, strength wave two. Ooh, it's two actions, but still. And he's got three. So you can do that and make a normal attack to clean up. Uh, and he's got a status effect, all trolls gain, plus one star for strength. So it's uh, the reverse of the uh, the kobolds because I think they're defensive bonuses. Uh, the salt pillar is the new spawning point. Miss Hound is the new dog, uh, and his only ability well, he's got predator sidestep and surefoot, but his only action ability is wave two pull one. So they can draw you in. Um, and then the sorrows are the little ones. The, now these aren't spawned like the other ones are. Uh, one action weep. Uh, Range 2 magic, if we can flip some wound, place a sorrow from the spawning pool adjacent to the wounded model. Oh, okay, so you can use them to duplicate themselves. They have no strength and no armor. Um, so that's interesting. And then you've got the arcade ones that I'm not really dealing with. And of course you've got a uh, salt special card, Pinch of Salt, plus one dex, uh, with an a, a two-point action... Um, magic wave one creeps within the area are destroyed. So I don't know. It doesn't sound like the best, but it's still fun. It's still fun, I'm sure. All right, you can hang out here with the caddy. All right. To me, this is the big one: Stilt Town Zombies. Getting better. I like the undead. I li I've always liked the undead. Uh, I was really excited when the Age of Vampires came up in novels and then led to the horrible atrocity of shows that have plagued us. But, along with zombies, along with zombies, because that show was horrible too. Um, 
And all the movies are questionable, but they're still good in like some respect. Um, so I was really excited when they were going to bring out a new Undead thing. And then I looked at Marie Claude, and other than her scary giant breasts, uh, I was really excited. Like, because that really seems like the everyday hero from here. Like, you look at comic books, and like a lot of these guys are Supermans and, and Avengers. And, and like, Spider Man's kind of a little hero. Uh, I like street level heroes a lot. So, let's get them out of here. Come on. Cards. Let's shove those back in. And I am curious because I think I, I psyched myself out. I was really looking forward to this guy in the top hat being a character. And I think he's just a low level character. A low level monster. I'm really glad I did this now because this is uh, a lot just on its own. I didn't want to spend an hour unboxing this stuff when it finally all came in. All right, uh, the biggest thing I want to know immediately, immediately is uh, Mr. Bitey. <laughs> it's a zombie rabbit with a carrot on his head. Uh, it's the new pet that's been added. Uh, I'm super excited about him. Uh, I can see it on on the cards already. It's um, Master gains Berserk, plus two action, uh, rotten, uh, rotten Carrot, plus one Strength. <laughs> he's got two actions. So he can make two attacks it's two, at two red uh, on his own, or he can use that. And I think that's to give the Master plus one red Strength. Alright, so... We've got these grabby houses. There's two of these. Um... Which is actually interesting because the other ones only have one. And then... Zombies! So let's see, we've got... Two different models of zombies, which... Based on what's here, it looks like that means two different... Uh... Classes that you would use. So, there's, that's them. Yay! I like zombies. Nom nom nom. So there's there's quite a few of them. There's two of the the runners and then uh, six of the, the little shamblers. Um, then we've got the biggins. There's two of these guys. Um, and they're pretty. And then there's this huge guy, which I'm assuming is the mini boss. Now that I have it open in my hand, before I was hoping he was just a big guy. Because I really wanted this dude in the hat to be the one in charge. Um, I really like this model. I think there are there's a case where I would make him a character even if uh, it's not in the rules. But of course, let's show off Marie Claude. Um, she's got cute little short hair and uh, a frying pan in one hand and a rolling pin in the other, and both have great effects. So we'll go ahead and put there with her friends. Let's open one of these cards up. I'm running out of time. Yeah, so I'm right. So, okay, so Marie Claude, real quick, she's got tough built in, which I like. Uh, rolling pin, uh, strength, sweep two. Uh, frying pan, these are both two point actions. Um, frying pan, uh, range one, strength, uh, plus one strength, and bane, which I really like. And then her uh, hearty grog potion is a heal one remedy. So it's, it's not as good as the Royal Paladin, but it has the remedy built in, so we'll all take it. Uh, Bruce and George is, of course, the big guy. <laughs> He's the mini boss. Uh, <clears throat> two point action static discharge wave two uh, plus one blue strength. He starts at two blue for strength, but he's got reach, so he's got an extra range. Um, brilliant, really two point action six uh, melee range plus one strength suffers one wound. Okay, so oh, it looks like yeah, it's supposed to be. I think that he has like a rocket hand or something. Which is interesting. Uh, electric Jolt, two point action. Gruesome June, George heals one wound. So he's got tough built in, so you can actually heal two wounds per turn. And instead of charge. Oh, he gains plus one blue, plus one armor for every wound he's suffering. That's uh, kind of insane, I'll be honest. Uh, so Gravity House is, yeah, what you use for zombies. The Shamble Priest, which is the three point model that I really like. Um, three point action, pin cushion, range eight magic, plus two will, blue, he starts at two red. 
um, hook shot, which means he doesn't need a lot of sight. Bane and hex. Oh, geez, which means it reduces the the strength. Um, the prowler is the the runny zombie. Grabby mob. What's grabby? Model that is adjacent to enemy model. With grabby may not move. Interesting. So adjacent to mobile. Um, homunculus one point <coughs> attack. If homunculus inflicts a wound, one which may remove a single wound token. That's nasty. Because uh, you can cross this with the pumpkin patch then and really make it good. Oh, he's stealth. Wow. Um, they're mob too, so that's good. Uh, the big guy's Pudge. Um, he's got Gross, which is when Pudge is destroyed before removing the model, resolve the following action. <laughs> so he explodes, basically. Wave 1 uh, plus 1 strength, so it's 2, two blue or red. Um... He's got an ability called Disgusting. He only has one action, but uh, Lance 3, plus 1 red. That's not poison, is it? I'd have to look that one up. I don't remember. I thought the, the Skull was poison. Uh, skull Crossbones was poison. It's a teardrop one. Um, but since he's a big model, that's six spaces he's covering. And then the basic Swampy, instead of... Under the Swampy Zombie Mint, he's only two, two blue, he has no ability, he's just grabbing mob. Uh, and of course there's the arcades, you have the Mr. Bitey Wonder Card, and Brain Souffle, plus one strength, and Berserk. During its activation, a model of Berserk may make a single melee attack, uh, costing no action points. Um, and then there's a ability, Stinky, Wave 1, which I have to assume that one's poison, and I was wrong about the other one. Okay, I am quickly running out of time, so I just want to go back... To uh, all this, we'll even shove it up a little bit. Uh, this is everything we unboxed today. We had the Stilltown Zombies of Mistborn Coast, Tabby Brook Mage, and the Bondrak Manor Tile Pack. Hopefully you enjoyed this. If you're as big a fan of Super Dungeon Explorer as I am, you definitely did. Uh, I can't wait to go take these out and uh, kick some heroes' butts. Yay! Until you see me next time, I am Camry. Have a nice day. If you want to see anything else we're up to, Go ahead and click the annotations and they'll take you to our other channels.